Obviously, the only way to wrap my sandwich is with cling wrap. We use this stuff so often, but do we really need it? Who wants a world that's dead and wrapped in plastic anyway? Cling wrap is everywhere, but surprisingly, you can live without it quite easily. But there are so many foods, bagels, cookies, cheeses. How could we possibly live without this stuff? Well, yes, you can. My name's Katie. I'm an environmental engineer and a zero waste evangelist. The aim of this video is to get you to adopt the zero waste action of quitting cling wrap. Now, I will show you nine fun ways that you can use to replace cling wrap that should cover just about any application you need it for. But first, let me explain why you want to get rid of this stuff. Cling wrap is made from plastic called LDPE, which stands for low density polyethylene. Or it may even be made from PVC, which stands for polyvinyl chloride. As with most plastics, the chemicals that make LDPE and PVC plastic are extracted from crude oil. Most of America's crude oil is extracted from deep sea drilling, like where we saw Deepwater Horizon, from the Middle East, where we saw the Iraq War, or from the Canadian tar sands. Manufacturing a one kilogram roll of cling wrap will use 1.6 litres of crude oil. That would be about two of these olive oil bottles. And that manufacturing process will emit 2.13 kilograms of carbon dioxide. Now, cling wrap is not going to be recycled and it does not contain any recycled polymers. These type of soft plastics may contain some phthalates or bisphenol A. These chemicals may cause hormone disruptions and have been linked to breast cancer, to obesity, and to the lower intellectual development in children. And cling wrap is just one more unnecessary expense that you don't need. Your zero waste action is to make the commitment to quit buying cling wrap forever and to use one of these alternative methods that I will show you right now. Quitting at cling wrap tip number one is the sandwich sleeve. It's just a really neat plastic sleeve like this. You just put your sandwich inside it, you velcro the top, and voila, the sandwich is completely contained within a reusable and washable sleeve. Step two is put your leftover food into a reusable container. Now lots of people will cling wrap over the plate, but all you need to do is just get the plate, put it in a container, put the lid on it, and put it in the fridge. Amazing! Tip number three is my absolute favourite, which are these incredible silicon flaps. Now you might be wondering, what are they? They go over the top of a bowl. I've got a bowl of rice here. You put them over like this and you press them down and this will replace the thing wrapping over a bowl. And now they've got this secret little thing about them, which is really great, which is that they make a vacuum seal and so you can actually lift up something quite heavy. That's full of rice, probably one to two kilos. So they come in all different sizes. This is the large one, the small ones as well, and there's little ones you can use for cups. And these make wonderful gifts as well for anyone who eats food and puts it in a bowl. Hmm. What to do with my avocado? Tip four is the avocado holder. It's sort of like a little sandal for your avocado. So, after you've used this portion, you take your half an avocado, put it in its little shoe like this, and then latch it down, and you have this really neat self-contained avocado that will not go brown and doesn't need to be wrapped in cling wrap. Tip number five, these are really cute. Usually if people have a cut tomato or a cut onion, they'll just put some cling wrap over it and then put it in the fridge. Now, I love these little things, and they come in every type of fruit or vegetable shape that you might desire. I've got a tomato one here, and one in the shape of an onion. And yes, they are plastic, but they are reusable. So hopefully, these little devices would last for a lifetime, and they would help you eliminate so much more disposable plastic. I have an onion that I have already cut, so we can put the onion in the onion holder, and we can put the cut tomato in the tomato put the lid on and voila we have tomatoes and onions contained without the use of disposable plastic tip number six usually when someone has cooked a tray of brownies or lasagna or roast vegetables like this they'll cover the tray with cling wrap or maybe foil now there is this amazing invention called the banana lid it's made of silicon 
very beautiful and it goes on top of the tray. Just like the silicon flowers before, it creates a vacuum seal, so you should just about be able to lift it off the table. Tip number seven is the bento box for kids' lunches, but also it can be used for adults' lunches. These wonderful boxes have a series of compartments in them, so you can live a zero waste life with unpackaged food and put everything in the little compartments to avoid using cling wrap and all disposable plastic. Tip number eight is say cheese. You would think, how could I possibly wrap cheese with anything other than cling wrap? And now a wrapped block of cheese usually looks like this, but there is a way. We start with a block of cheese, and there are several retailers where you can buy cheese without the plastic packaging. We have a cloth that's been made slightly moist, and we have a reusable container. So all we do is basically wrap our cheese in the moist cloth, and that will stop the ends drying out. We put the moist wrapped cheese into the reusable container, and there we have it, cheese without disposable plastic. Now tip number nine is so obvious, it's crazy, but some people actually don't know this. So if you have a bowl of salad like this, rather than clean wrapping the top, just put a plate on top of it. It's so easy, you don't have to spend uh, lots of money on all these interesting zero waste products. You can just put a plate on the top and there you go, you have a zero waste bowl of salad to put in the fridge. So your zero waste action is this, when you see Clean wrap in the store, say no. When you see it in the drawer and you want to use it to wrap something, just say no. Just think through all of the alternatives you can use. Don't succumb to the dark side. So make sure your kitchen is kitted up with enough containers and zero waste alternatives like I've shown here. And I especially recommend these silicon flowers. I use them every day and I really love them. You can actually live your whole life without creating any trash at all. It's about generating a zero waste mind of all of the products that you come into contact with. So make this internal commitment not to bring anything that is going to become trash into the home. And don't forget, inside every piece of clean wrap like this really is a few drops of crude oil. All of these zero waste actions may seem small individually, but they add up to a substantial environmental impact over a lifetime. Enjoy the journey of making your kitchen zero waste, and it is actually really fun and really economic to live lightly on the planet. Keep on de-trashing the world and practicing love for our beautiful earth with zero waste of living. Please do share this video with anyone you know who uses cling wrap and subscribe to the Detrashed YouTube channel to learn more zero waste tips so we can detrash the world. One last thing before we go, we want to say thank you to the beautiful Anastasia who has sat so patiently through the making of this video, being the most beautiful, well-behaved and emotionally supportive child. Such a good baby. Come on, we're almost there, Bubs, we're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah, 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 and then we can do something fun. Hey. <laughs> um.